Springboro mourns tonight after a high school football player is killed on his way to school this morning. Good evening, I'm Mark Allen. Good evening, I'm Katie Usen. 17-year-old Sean Furchette died after his vehicle struck a utility pole in the 4700 block of State Route 741 in Clear Creek Township early this morning. Investigators say Sean drove off the right side of the road on his way to school. He was pronounced dead at the scene. As deputies look for answers tonight, those who knew and loved Sean are trying to cope with this serious loss. Alexa Ashwell joins us now live in Springboro with our top story. Alexa. Well, Mark, Katie, investigators are looking into whether speed caused the 17-year-old to lose control of his car and strike this utility pole. Sean was a junior at Springboro High. He also played on the school's football team. He also had countless friends, many of whom came here to the site where he lost his life and left tokens of remembrance. Everybody was just crying and everything. It was so sad. I was, I was shaking. I wasn't crying, but I was shaking. As soon as the dismissal bell rang at Springboro High School, John Branhart had to see the accident site with his own eyes. He, along with countless other students, couldn't believe his dear friend and classmate, 17-year-old Sean Frechette, was gone. After all, he had just celebrated Halloween with them. Uh, we went trick-or-treating, me and a couple of friends, and I met Sean over there with them. And just, it's crazy seeing him that night. And then he gave me a ride up to my truck in his car. I'm just so sad and I'm going to miss him a lot. I just can't believe this happened to Sean. He was such a safe driver. Mariah yearly left flowers among the stuffed animals and notes left for Sean. Some as simple as a post-it, others as detailed as this framed letter from his sister, Caitlin. Brooklyn Mari may not be related to Sean by blood, but says she always considered him her brother. He's basically like a big brother to me. He's my math tutor. Like, I could never see him harming anyone, and for this to happen to him really breaks my heart. Now at 5, we heard from Sean's coach and teammate. New at 6, I'll have more on a conversation his coach had with Sean's father. Reporting live, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News.